Hello and welcome. In this video, we will look at the Divi Restro menu plugin and the process involved in importing data to the site using CSV file. But before that, let's take a quick over, overview of uh, the plugin. This is a plugin which at this point of time has two layouts to display uh, your Restro menu items and uh, these are the layouts. Now, in the backend, how the plugin works is that it creates a custom post type which is used by a module uh, which is added to the DB theme uh, builder when you install the plugin that displays those custom post types data in uh, two different layouts as of the current version. Now, in order to add the data at this point of time, what you need to do is that you need to manually go and create a post just like a standard WordPress post page or WooCommerce product as simple as like that. Now we need to put the title and then some information about currency symbol, the price, the ingredients separated by comma, short description and the categories that we need to add first and a featured image. So these are the primary elements which are then displayed in a format that we select. So here is one example. Now, if you have, let's say, 100 of products, it might be a little difficult to add all of them manually. And uh, in order to overcome that, we can use the CSV import feature that is available in WordPress and uh, we'll do that. So let's go and check it out. This is a site that uh, we have it currently has 114 posts so it was just 50 percent of it right now a few minutes back and uh, it was imported so we have some duplicate content as you can see here but we'll ignore that our purpose is to export it and then uh, look at the structure and then finally import it on another website so let's go first we need to install a plugin and that is wp ultimate csv importer This is the first one and we will also need another plugin that is uh, for exporting so these are uh, combined to work together and here we are I'm going to activate this and these are the two plugins now that we have added now if we go to the panel it has a lot of things that we don't need. I just need to go to export and on the custom post type we need to select WP, uh, we need to select Restro menu. So these are the custom post type which are listed here. So we'll pick what we need and that is the Restro menu. And we'll just hit the continue button. I've already downloaded the file but I'll just uh, do it again. Uh, let's call it menu test data and I'm not going to uh, select these uh, for now, uh, but you could uh, specify uh, these parameters or um, looks like these are some uh, premium features uh, that you might not need for a simple website. But yes, uh, these are options available to you and I'm just going to hit export button. It says that I have 114 entries and it's asking whether I would like to download and yes, there it is. So the data is on my computer now. I'm going to take a quick look at the data and see how it looks. Here we are. So this is the data and I have a copy of it already saved, downloaded and just arranged in a little more manageable uh, way so I can take a look and figure it out. Uh, we have the post title here on the top, the first column, status. Featured image, restaurant menu categories, uh, the currency and the description. This is what we need to provide for the description. Uh, and then ingredients separated by comma and then uh, the price uh, in numbers. So this is uh, what I had uh, when I downloaded it a few minutes back. So we have 50, 58 rows uh, that makes 57 total number of entries. Now, 
what we need to do here is that we just need to take uh, some of these off something uh, that we don't need and that has that has already been done if you look at it uh, it has a post id it has post excerpt the date and um, all of these uh, we um, have a, I think we have one post which uh, is included in more than uh, one category so I'll go and uh, give you a glimpse of how we need to handle the post which have uh, more than one category so this is the raw data I'm just closing it off and I'll come back to it in a while I'll get rid of it as well this is the file that was downloaded And this is our category. One of the posts had two categories. It was assigned to two categories. So a uh, comma between two categories that you've already created would be the key um, here. Now, uh, time to get back to the actual file. We consolidated it and made it available for import on the site. And this is how it looks. We have the post title, this would be the title. We have the status, we can also get rid of it, I'll just leave it. We have the featured image, it could be a URL, uh, the importer would ask you whether you would like to get the URL specified in the CSV to your media library, they can, they can do that. So if you have already imported the file to media library, that's the best thing they could do. You can paste the URL here, or uh, we can specify the categories. Uh, we have the currency for each item, that's the price, description, this is the most important thing. Uh, the ingredients separated by commas and then the price. Now, when you do it, this sample data won't be available to you. Uh, because you don't need all of these. Uh, we could, we just leave one or uh, two of these entries and get rid of others. So, deleted all of these. Now, it's your time to uh, prepare the data. And once the data is successfully prepared by you, what you can do is that you can first save the file very simple we just need these fields on the top and um, the respective values would be added and then um, going back to the importer once you are back to the plugin or plugin settings go to the import tab and browse the file remember these three files um, are not what um, exactly you would be importing uh, would ship one of these as a demo on the faq page of the plugin you would uh, prepare your own file and save it in CSV format and then uh, select the one that has the data. So I selected the one where we have two entries and then can import it now. So it's asking that how would you like to import these? So existing item it means that it would overwrite anything that has the same value. We're not going to do that for now. Uh, we're going to import something um, that has been prepared uh, as new. So we already have the two entries that we have in the Excel sheet, which would be created as a duplicate entry, but that doesn't matter. In your case, that would be diff uh, different. So um, let's select the restaurant menu and then continue. It would give you uh, some fields to uh, match up. And if you look at uh, WordPress custom fields, these values are already um, here and uh, we don't need the last one so the currency the description ingredients price and the other fields post title and status published so uh, featured image as you provide in the url would be featured image. so we already have these in place we just don't need to uh, make any further amendments or map things we just need to continue and asking about the media whether you would like to download external images to your media so the same website is um, 
being used where the data was exported from to import it. So we'll just press the continue and uh, let's start it. And here we are. It says that we have successfully imported the two records which were available in the file. So hot dogs and apple pie. Perhaps we should go and check, out, check it out. Hot dogs, apple pie. If you look at these entries are already available on the site. We have it uh, uh, because uh, the data was exported from the same website. But our purpose was not to uh, I'll look at the duplicate things or anything else. What we're trying to do is to export the data and import it in a way that fits all your entries in a single spreadsheet or CSV file, uh, save this .csv extension. And this is how you do that. If you have hundreds of data, it will take a couple of uh, more time compared to the time it took just now. And this is how you could import uh, bulk entries uh, in TV Restaurant menu through CSV.